Hello everyone, someone ZX here representing We Are Team Error. This is my let's play of a game called Battletoads and Double Dragon, the Ultimate Team. This game's for Sega Genesis and also Super Nintendo. I just prefer the Sega Genesis version because I like uh I like the sounds and everything a little bit more. I like the music, the hit sounds. I just like that better. Anyway, obviously if you can't tell, these are the toads, these are the double dragons. I like playing as Jimmy, because his color is red. He does this. He's, he's just red. This bitch is the final boss of the level I'm about to play. Now, this is a... Kind of like a beat-em-up game. You just run around, beat the fuck out of things. Like, um... As a kid, you can see why this would probably be really fun, because, you know, your little kid mind just beating the fuck out of things not really caring about what that thing is, like these NASA impersonators. Now, see, being on the ledge, you can get those power-ups and it's pretty handy, but the thing is, if you don't get back up, they'll uh, curb stomp you down into the void of space, which I don't understand why it kills you since you can be in space without a space suit. Yeah, you can, you can just get them and kick them, because if you don't, they're just gonna keep fucking shooting you and shooting you. Like, oh, and you're like, shut the fuck up. And there's, these guys are really easy, gold ones. They don't really come up on the shit, per se. They just sit there. Like, I hope he doesn't hit my hands. And then, what do you know, you get your hand. Oh, right, I forgot. Now, about the whole running thing that you keep seeing me doing, as a kid, I had no fucking idea I could run in this game. I was like, I figured that out a while ago, and I was like, oh, wow, I could have saved myself so much time. Because, you know, even though it's a very fast-paced scroller, it's just like, being able to run, it just has so much more meaning to it. And then I can just kick everything, because that was like, my favorite thing to do, just run around and kick shit, like, like this fucker. With them. Oh, usually they have a very delayed reaction to the kick. Yeah, like that. There we go. Yeah, these these hands. Fuck. These hands, I don't really understand. But whatever. They're supposed to be, you know, like just that tedious enemy constantly does the same shit over and over again. And how they come out of the fan, whatever they are. Oh, they stop. I, well, I never even paid attention to that. I thought they kept moving. Yeah, he's so mad that you're on his ship, he punches through the only door on this vessel. Therefore, opening a huge opportunity if you beat him, which I'm obviously going to. Yeah, he just, he'll just sit there like, fuck, I lost. And then he just, pooch, send him into space. Ah, oh, fuck. What I'm going to try to do at the end of everything is just, you know, do a little mid-air kick freeze frame, because uh, I just like the way it looks. And this, this eagle... Thing. I don't know what he is, but apparently he's like our informant or something. I don't know what his deal is. But anyway, level two, Blag Alley. Surprise, that's Blag. That's Blag. We get to fight these guys. We could just kick him in the face. Flip him if you get him in the combo, you don't want to kick him in the face. Oh wow, I just got the health pickup and you take it down. Like, target. Okay, so you see this uh, capsule robot thing? All it'll do is it'll do a little kick to you, but when you beat them, you can take their leg and then you can do this. Bam, bam, bam. Boop. 
Now it's not really delayed like that, I just did that because if you stop pressing the hit button, you just stand above them like that. Let's see if I can do it. See? You just but eventually they just do that though, they'll get back up. No matter how hard you hit them in the ground. Oh yeah, this guy. He's just gonna fucking sit there in the elevator and throw shit at you until you throw it back at him. Oh, fuck, I threw that wrong. Fuck. There's a certain way you have to stand in order to throw it back at him. And I keep failing. Fucking hard. Fuck. There we go. Got him. Okay, apparently you have to be facing the opposite direction in which he is throwing these fucking yellow fireworks at you in order to throw it back at him. And he comes out, bing bump. Go back down the elevator. Level 2 2. Get that one up. Always coming handy. This fucker is trying to steal my kick gimmick. Back on screen. Oh, got him. Is he dead? <laughs> I didn't think he'd die by that. Not complaining. Now you get to fight two of these guys. Take their legs. Uh, that's the thing. When you have uh, their legs, you can't uh, curb stomp their fingers so they can climb up. Whatever. And this part, they just keep spawning so you can just lunge on right over them and then just pound them in the ground. Or that. Oh, I forgot, you can break the spare leg for a few points. Now, on this part, his dynamite explodes way faster than the first one. It's a pain in the ass sometimes, because you're just about to throw it, and then he throws one in front of you, and you're like, fuck! Or you do stupid shit like that, and you can't get to him. Forgot about that power up. That power up just makes you uh, invincible for a few seconds. Not that long. Maybe like, I don't know, five seconds. Yeah, he also takes two more hits. Well, three, because you have to hit him five times with the zone. Dynamite. Then he hops on out. You go in. And you go downstairs. Now you get to ride air bikes. Yeah. jump and then eventually you'll have to kick bitches away from you because they're gonna try to punch you in the back of the head so you get off and you're like, no, I'm having fun. And you also gotta watch out for uh, these trash can things. Yeah, come fuck up the way. Now the level pacing isn't always this slow. Once you get past the guy that try to punch you off, it gets a little bit more fast paced. Not extremely fast, yeah, see? I don't know how many of you guys noticed that, but uh, just got a little bit faster. These guy, these wannabe guiles are just gonna come out of nowhere and start punching you in the back of the head. You gotta kick them in the face so many times until they can't take it anymore and they just plop right off. Or, uh, and they end up doing that. You spawn and you kick them off. I, I honestly just adore this music. I guess it's because of the whole, you know, flying around on an air bike shit. That's just... I don't know. If I were to hear this music randomly just anywhere, I'd know it immediately that it is from this game. It's just my like one of my favorite soundtracks from this game. Now I gotta dodge more trash cans and shit. And then I get to fight the flag. Yeah. There he is. A little sign in the 
background saying so fight. Yeah, during this entire fight, he's gonna do that and he's gonna do this jump thing, kinda hard to dodge. And you just keep doing this. Now the third boss I have no idea how to fight because I've never gotten to it. So that'll probably be the worst part of this let's play. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Ah! And I forgot about that follow -up. Oh yeah, if you can get under him, somehow you can lift up this bitch and just throw him. I don't know how the fuck is possible. I mean, yeah, I know a lot of shit in this game isn't possible whatsoever. But still. Alright. Level 2 is done. So, I'll let you guys finish up this cutscene. Then we'll start off on level 3, which is pretty hilarious in my part. Ropes and Roper. You got this Duke Nukem wannabe right here. With a gun. I, I just assumed that he uses a gun. Alright, well... Join me next time, and we'll start this level off. You pretty much got a preview of the field enemies already, and just the combo to finish them off is just ridiculous, but...